Now to River State, which remains on a political razor's edge as the Wike Fubara feud takes another confusing legal turn. Victor Okojombo, who leads the River State House of Assembly, says he'll challenge the decision by the appeals court on Thursday, nullifying an ex parte order by the State High Court, which had restrained Martin Amewule and 24 others from parading themselves as members of the River State House of Assembly, saying the lower court lacked the jurisdiction to make such an order. So the argument is now centered around the issue of jurisdiction. That appeals court ruling has, of course, led the Amewule group to claim victory. But it's also now led to a challenge from the opposing side, led by Oko Jombo, supported by the Opposition Federal Lawmakers Coalition, known as G60. They insist that the seat of the River State lawmakers remains vacant. So, amid the increasing desperation of politicians on both sides of the divide to secure favourable judgments to shore up their positions, where do things go from here? Well, for more on this, I'm joined now in the studio by Senator Olaka Mwogu, who is from River State and who, to be perfectly clear, is on the side of the Wike group. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Thanks, Charles, for having me. Were you disappointed that the court ruling didn't quite resolve the substantive matter, but rather focused on jurisdiction and judicial overreach? I think the court is clear. Jurisdiction is everything. Because the matter before the court was a judgment by a lower court. And the court simply said that court did not have jurisdiction, which means the ruling it gave does not stand. It was the basis of the Justice Wally ruling that certain steps were taken. That ruling specifically had said that um, I mean, we shouldn't parade as speaker. Mm. And all the court said was that they didn't have jurisdiction, which meant that whatever it was before, that made them take them to court, because it was parading as speaker. So it was acting as speaker. Then the court said, these people took them to court, that it shouldn't parade as speaker. The judge said it should not. The, Supreme, the appeal court said no. It no, shouldn't have done that. Well, let, let me be clear on what we understand the appeals court to have done. The yeah. appeals court has given its interpretation to a specific aspect of the law, which is the question of narrow jurisdiction. It didn't grant any additional powers, nor did it restore or reinstate anybody, certainly not the 25 members who defected, nor the three-member structure that is there at present. No, no, there was nothing more for the court to do. Yeah, that's, that's the point. You see, the court simply, you need to understand the sequence of things. There was, people went to court mm. before Justice Wally to say, Amewule is acting as speaker, he should not. So what did Wally do? Wally granted others mm. that said Amewule should not parade <coughs> himself as speaker. What did the Supreme uh, Appeal Court do? Appeal Court looked at the things, the issues and said Wally Scott did not have jurisdiction. So every decision taken by Wally Scott is a nullity. It's as simple as that. There is no further interpretation. There was no other way the court would tell you that we hereby uh, ask you to disregard everything that Wally said. Just to say it's a nullity. Well, uh, what we are trying to do here is to understand this better. Yes. Because a lot of people in the audience who are concerned about what is going on in River State are not lawyers. Yes. They don't have the capacity to, well, I wouldn't patronize them by saying they don't have, the, they need the thing to, because even the most brilliant minds are confused over this. The issue here is what the River State High Court said. It said that they should not parade themselves as members of the House of Assembly pending Yes. The determination of the substantive matter. Yes. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but that substantive matter is still before the Federal High Court, presided yes. over by 
I think it's Justice Okoro in Abuja. Uh, and it is yet to be decided, is that yes. right? Okay, let's, let's take it in bits. First, well, it's a fairly straightforward yes, question. Yes, I, I know. Yeah. Let's take it in bits. Yeah. First, whatever Justice Wallace said, by the ruling of the appeal court, mm -hmm. you have to disregard. That's the simple yeah, absolutely. interpretation. Yes. So what was the state of things before they approached Wale? The state of things was that Amewule was in session acting. Well, that depends on speaker. how you look at it. The, now, the, to the, the second the, part. The, sorry you to have interrupt the second you. part, sorry which to, is membership. Yeah, but let me just clarify that first. Part. Yes. When you say the state of things, the yes. state of things was that Amewule and his colleagues had declared publicly that they were no longer yes. in, the, in the PDP and that they had defected. So, what is that substantive issue that is yet to be determined? It is whether these men are still members of the House of, of Assembly or not. That matter has not been decided. And I understand that there is an affidavit in court. I haven't seen it, just to be clear, but reportedly sworn to by Mr. Amewole, which says that they have defected from the PDP. So the, the point I'm making is that it, it's when you say, it, it, it's, it, I mean, from a political point of view, you can choose the bits that you want to suit whatever position that you've got. And we're not taking sides, we're just trying to bring clarity to this matter. So if you choose the bit about parading themselves or whatever, but the fact remains that those guys publicly declared that they had defected. Nobody put a gun to their heads. Nobody tied them up and said, you must say this. They voluntarily said it. My reaction to you is this. Yeah. We must, at a time like this, not only believe the courts, but work with the courts. There are so much in opinion our interpretation, your interpretation, their interpretation. It's not my interpretation. So can we just stick to what the courts have said so far? And I'll, I'll tell you clearly. Yeah. One, justice, the, the, the appeal court was supposed to be the court all of us were waiting for. Let's wait for the appeal court to give us clarity. As at now, the clear things emanating from the appeal court leads to rest whether the order on which Oko Jumbo and others, which was the order of Justice Wali, started parading themselves. Now, that does not in law exist at all as a judgment I, of I court. I understand that. Now, earlier on, earlier this year, the ruling by, I just got, his name just got out of my head now, in a moment I'll get you, I'll get it for you. There was a ruling in January by a federal high court where it was expressly ruled that matter, the ruling of the court was that Edison Eye, who was the predecessor yes. of um, Oko Jumbo, the court ruled that he was never speaker. All the acts of Amewule are legal and correct the position of the court clearly... You mean including the fact that he defected? <laughs> You're saying all his acts no, are no, legal yes. and correct? Let me, and, and I'll go to the defection. Right. You see, you must allow the defection matter to be thoroughly dealt by the court. We are yeah, all preempting the court. That's, that's we why we said it's, a, it's in court. Yeah. That the mere saying, I have left my party, is not defection. And Doc, uh, Justice Bassam has ruled on that to the extent that that is the judgment, it's a, they, should go, they should go and appeal Justice Bassam. Justice Bassam ruled, and I'll tell you what he said. First, he said that the state high court mm -hmm. may not have jurisdiction, but assuming it had, it is of the view that the assembly members are legitimate members of the assembly. The court did not find the defection to be in the manner and character that you are putting it. Because the Constitution has processes. No, no, I, I, you see, look, you, you see the problem. I'm telling you what the court I, rules. I, I understand what you mean. But the problem here, Senator, yes. is that 
you are an interested party. Yes. And the politicians on both sides are yes. interested parties. And they are the ones, including yourself, yes. who are giving us the interpretation. And obviously, you on both sides are interpreting it to suit your political objectives. So what the issue needs is judicial clarification. Two. And unfortunately, that clarification did not come through the appeals courts. That's why it's being interpreted the way that it is. Let's, you talked about taking it systematically. Yes. I think it's section 109, section, subsection 2, has given the Speaker of the House of Assembly the power to declare their seats vacant. In other words, yeah. that's what gives effect to their declaration public declaration that they're that they are vacating their seats, yes. which they said. Yes. That section of the Constitution gives them that power, gives the Speaker of the Assembly that power to declare their seats vacant once they defect. The factional Speaker, Edison A. here, did that in December 2023. But it is your argument that that provision of the constitution has not been fulfilled because you said you went to court and he was declared as a factional. No, 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 it's beyond uh -huh. that. You see, what the constitution says is that if you move from your party to the other party, mm -hmm. you shall lose your seat provided. And it's those provisions that you must read in conjunction with the principal uh, act, which says you must read. Those provisions include whether there is a division in your party. Yeah, but on the national level, not not on no, the state no, level. No, 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 no it's no. very. Look, I have the constitution here. I, I, if coming. you want, I can open I, up I'm the page yes, and show you it. To you. You. Please go ahead. I mean, it's, now, it's, it's it not. It's not a question of the dispute. speaker. Yeah, it prescribes who should do that. If the constitution says Peter should do something, Paul cannot do it. Then, when Peter is not available to do it to compel action, you go to court. But in this case, it's very clear. The, cons the constitution prescribes that it should be done by the speaker. Yeah. Now, because the speaker was not available no, no, to... No, the speaker vacated his position. He publicly no, he did declared no, sorry, sorry. that he was no longer... <laughs> In the no, 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 see the mistakes, sir. You, I think no, you're I understand here. what you. I no, no, if you don't hear me, okay, you can go ahead. Yeah, go see ahead. the mistake. You presume that the act itself has an automatic trigger. It does not. The act has to be triggered by an, another act. I understand that. that. Act is a speaker. You see, it's called. The, it's in law. They call it self-executory. No, no, that's. It's, it's not self-executory. No, is what the, it's is not, the point you're it's making? Not. Yeah, because it is. Because it says somebody yeah. should do it. Now that person is not available to do it. Then what happens is that you go to, to court. You go to court. Yeah. Now and the federal high court makes that decision. As of today, no court of competent jurisdiction has said these people are not members of the house. And that is what the only court that tried to do that does not But let me ask you a political... So as of today, right, as right. Of today yeah. it will help to understand that these people, in the eyes of the law, until a court says there are no more members, are members, as of today... No, no, no. Let, let me say this, okay? From a legal point of view, I'm sure you know that the burden of proof lies with those who are claiming that they are still members of the House of Assembly. That's a legal uh, fact. Let me let me the body. No, hold on. The body is no, no, no. The body let, should let, be on the person who alleges. No, 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 no. The, the, I'm telling you what the, the law is, very clear. So, sorry, sorry, let, I, let, me, I, let me make the point. Which law? Let me pay the, make the point. Before. <laughs> you're, you're moving no, 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 hold on. Let me make the point before you respond. From a legal point of view, the burden of proof lies with those who are claiming that they are still members of the House of the Assembly when they stated clearly in full public glare that they have defected from the PDP. The Speaker declared their seats vacant. The Speaker, who then took over subsequently, declared their seats vacant. But they are now turning around to say that they have good reasons why their seats are no longer vacant. So the burden is upon them to go to court to give reasons why their seats should not be declared permanently vacant. That's the position of the law. We do respect, sir. I think we should be careful how we put this. No, no, it's not no, a matter I, of careful. I, I, I'm giving you, you an answer. You can get legal advice. I'm giving you an yeah, answer. Go ahead. 
we should be careful how we put this out to the public, that three persons constitute yeah. the House of Assembly with a speaker. And it is this ridiculousness that I watched on TV today, where Oko Jumbo, after the appeal court that a ruling, still had the other city to have a session where him and two others constituted the River State House of Assembly, which they know there is not even a quorum, assuming the defection was legitimate. This is not a quorum of that house. And you saw visitors sitting in the gallery. If you watch that clip, you would think those people sitting there were members of the <laughs> assembly. They are people who do not yeah. have any business there. There are people who should be in the gallery. But to I think I would agree with to you. To people, yeah. they sat there, mm. and then the speaker moves in with the mace. He's not a speaker. He was suspended. You see, the Supreme, the, the Court of Appeal uh, judgment is very clear. As at the time when they went to, because all the power they derived was from Wali. So before Wali, they were suspended members, and right. they still are suspended members. Before the conflict, they were suspended. So. In the eyes of, as a member, former member of parliament and a man who was in parliament. So yeah, of course. You're, 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 a, you're a senator. Up to this moment, mm. no legitimate house, because the only legitimate house is that of Amewule, no legitimate house has rescinded their suspension. Those are suspended members. Now, one of them parades as a speaker and then comes and then declares acts in a manner which he does not have power to do, yeah. apart from being suspended, no quorum. He couldn't have done that. Okay, well, uh, we're, we're out of time, and I think you've made your point as forcefully as you possibly can. I think from our point of view, the sense that we get is that politicians on both sides are the ones who are giving us their interpretation. And what this most needs is judicial clarification. So I think we're going to have to wait is it possible for that clarification. Is it Unfortunately, that the we're clarifications out of time. we're having, you put them, you take them to court. They waited for the appeal court. We waited for the appeal court. The Unfortunately, appeal court ruling. it couldn't be clearer. Un the Unfortunately, appeal... this is not a court of law, and there's a limit to what we can do. I think you've made the points very forcefully and we've also heard from different sides so we will now await judicial clarification on this matter and hope that it comes very soon but senator olaka you Mugu, know it's, it's a real feeling. pleasure you, you know unfortunately i'm actually out of, i'm actually out <laughs> of time you. i Thank really you. apologize Thank i'm not you. trying to be rude Thank but you. we are out of time okay. senator olaka Mugu is from river state and he clearly is from the WK <laughs> camp. Thank you very much. If, if they got judgment, they would not be appealing. They're appealing to the okay, Supreme Court, okay. which is an indication that they lost at the Court of Appeal. Very good.